So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve second order linear non-homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients using the method of variation of parameters. Now the method of variation of parameters allows us to find the particular solution or better still the particular integral of a wider range of differential equations, especially in cases where the method of undetermined coefficients cannot solve. Now, the method of undetermined coefficients, which we discussed in the previous lesson, is mainly used to solve non-homogeneous differential equations, where the non-homogeneous term, which is the function on the right-hand side, is either a constant, a polynomial, an exponential function, a cosine or a sine function, or better still, a linear combination of the functions mentioned above. Now, since we've already discussed the method of undetermined coefficients in the previous lesson, we are going to move away from that and then move on to solve differential equations using the method of variation of parameters. So given a second order linear non-homogeneous differential equation of the form a times y prime prime plus b times y prime plus c times y equals g of x, where g of x is not equal to zero. Now notice that when g of x is not equal to zero, then we say that we have a non-homogeneous differential equation. Now, the non-homogeneous term is what we call g of x, that is the function on the right-hand side. Now, to solve such a differential equation using the method of variation of parameters, as usual, we need to generate the corresponding homogeneous differential equation from the non-homogeneous differential equation. So, we have the corresponding homogeneous differential equation where the left-hand side is equal to zero. So, that is a times y prime prime plus b times y prime plus c times y equals zero. Now the next thing is to find the general solution of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation. And that is given by yc equals c1 times y1 plus c2 times y2. Now this function is what we call the complementary function. So this is the general solution with respect to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation. Now. To find the particular integral or better still the particular solution, what we are going to do is to vary the parameters, that is by replacing the constants c1 and c2 in the complementary function and then replacing them by u1 and u2 respectively. Now notice that u1 and u2 are functions of x. They are better still unknown functions of x and we seek to find the functions u1 and then u2. Now, u1 is giving us the negative integral of y2 times g of x divided by the Ronskian of y1 and y2 dx. And then we have u2 also giving us the positive integral of y1 times g of x divided by the Ronskian of y1 and y2 dx. And the Ronskian of y1 and y2, because we are talking about two functions here, is given by the determinant of a two by two matrix. So in the first row, we have it occupied by the functions themselves. So y1 and then y2. And the second row is occupied by the first derivatives of y1 and then y2. Now at the end, you have the particular solution or the particular integral to be yp equals u1 times y1 plus u2 times y2. And thus, to find the general solution to the given differential equation, you basically add the two solutions, yc and then yp, to get the general solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation. So, in this lesson, we are going to solve three examples. Let's start off with the simplest of examples. So, for example one, we are going to solve the differential equation y prime prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equals e to the power 2x. Now, this is a familiar differential equation. So let's try to solve this differential equation together. And notice that we are going to use the method of variation of parameters. So we have the differential equation y prime prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equals e to the power 2x. So First of all, we are going to generate the corresponding homogeneous differential equation from this. So that is given by y prime prime minus 
5y prime plus 6y equals 0. And then we are going to derive the auxiliary equation from this. So we have m square minus 5m plus 6 equals 0. So let's try to find the factors. So we multiply the coefficient of m square, which is 1, times coefficient of constant, which is 6. So 1 times 6 is 6. We need to generate two numbers that when you multiply, you have 6. When you add, you have negative 5. So we can talk of negative 1, negative 6, and then negative 2, negative 3. So we are going to select these two values. Now, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. So we have m minus 2 and then m minus 3 equals 0. So we have m1 to be equal to 2 and then m2 equals 3. Therefore, the general solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation or the complementary function is given by c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power 3x. Now at this point, we have e to the power 2x to be y1 and then e to the power 3x to be y2. So we have y1 to be equal to e to the power 2x. We have y2 equals e to the power 3x. And then we have g of x. g of x to be equal to e to the power 2x. Now, since we've been able to find the complementary function, let's move on as we find the particular integral or better still the particular solution. So we know that the particular solution is given by yp equals u1 y1 plus u2 y2 now before we can find u1 and then u2 we need to find the run skin of y1 and y2 so we know that the run skin of y1 y2 is given by the determinant of we have two functions so the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix so thus we have y1 y2 and then y1 prime y2 prime so for y1 we have y1 to be e to the power 2x y2 e to the power 3x and then if you want to differentiate this with respect to x then you have 2 e to the power 2x and with this you have 3 e to the power 3x therefore to find the determinant we multiply this value by that value so we have 3 times 1 that is 3 and then e to the power here we have 2x here we have 3x so that's going to be 2x plus 3x that is 5x so 5x and then minus we multiply these two values so 2 times 1 is 2 e to the power 2x plus 3x that also gives 5x so basically we are going to have 3 e to the power 5x minus 2 e to the power 5x we are left with e to the power 5x so this is the run scan of the two functions so the next thing is to find u1 and u2 so for u1 that is given by negative the integral of y2 times g of x divided by the run scan of the two functions so we have negative the integral of now y2 is e to the power 3x so e to the power 3x times g of x e to the power 2x divided by w which is e to the power 5x that is the run scan dx now e to the power 3x times e to the power 2x is equal to e to the power 5x so e to the power 5x cancels out e to the power 5x and then we are left with 1 therefore we have u1 equal to negative the integral of 1 dx now if you should integrate 1 with respect to x then that is equal to 
x and then we have this negative attached to it now because we are going to cater for the constant in the final solution we are going to ignore the constant of integration therefore therefore we have the function u1 to be equal to negative x negative x so that is u1 let's try to find u2 so u2 is also given by the positive integral of y1 times g of x divided by the Ronskian dx so we have y1 to be e to the power 2x times g of x also e to the power 2x divided by the Ronskian e to the power 5x dx so this becomes the integral of e to the power 4x divided by e to the power 5x dx and that is equal to we are going to have the integral of e to the power 4x minus 5x and that is equal to e to the power negative x dx now let's try to integrate this function so when we integrate e to the power negative x then we still have e to the power negative x and then we differentiate negative x and that becomes negative 1 and that appears at the denominator so naturally we are basically going to have negative e to the power negative x so that is u2 now from from this which is the particular integral we have yp yp to be equal to u1 so we have u1 to be negative x times y1 which is e to the power 2x plus u2 which is also negative e to the power negative x times y2 which is e to the power 3x now let's try to simplify this so we are going to have negative e to the power 2x times x and then here we have minus e to the power negative x and then plus 3x so negative x plus 3x is is 2x so this is yp now let's try to combine the two solutions which are yc and then yp therefore we have the general solution to the differential equation y equals yc plus yp so for yc we have c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power 3x plus yp so negative e to the power 2x times x minus e to the power 2x now here we have e to the power 2x e to the power 2x the coefficient of e to the power 2x here is negative 1 coefficient of e to the power 2x here is c1 now c1 and the negative 1 are all constants so constant or a constant minus a constant is still a constant therefore we can simplify this general solution so that we have y equals so let's let's say c1 minus 1 is equal to c3 so that becomes c3 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power 3x minus e to the power 2x times x this is the general solution to the given differential equation